thank God. We thank God. We welcome all of you. We welcome all of you. Thank you for just being uh, so wonderful. Amen. New Emmanuel and Facebook family and friends. Thank you so much for being uh, so wonderful. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. And on this particular day, to uh, you out there in Facebook land, you out there in Facebook land, amen, which we're doing it live. Amen. And we hope we can get a good video today that we can upload to YouTube uh, a little, little bit later on, a little bit later on. But we give God glory, honor, and praise. It's now 10 o'clock, and we're going to go ahead and get started with our worship celebration on this day. On this day. Come on, if you love the Lord, just go ahead and give him a hug. God, and to worship you in spirit and in truth. Now, Lord, we just want to say that we love you this morning, God, and we thank you. We thank you for bringing us all week long, God. We thank you, God, for just waking us up this morning. We thank you for food on our table, clothes on our back. Thank you for being in our right mind right now, God. Lord, we ask that you bless those that are sick, those that are shut in, God, those in hospital beds, those in ICU, Father God. Those on the front lines right now, Father God, fighting this pandemic, God. We praise your name. We ask that you give them strength, that you ask, that you give them comfort, God. We invoke your presence. We invoke your presence right here at New Emmanuel Chapel, God. We thank you and we love you. For it is in the precious and powerful name of Jesus. We do pray. And everybody that said amen just hope on. pulling in, they're still pulling in, and we're just elated, we're just elated that God will give us another way, another opportunity to worship him in times like these, amen, amen, how many of you know that God is great, yeah, he's great, greatly to be praised.
wonderful and he's God all by himself. Amen. Amen. God all by himself. Anybody glad that he woke you up this morning? Anybody glad that he started you on your way? He's an awesome God. He is an awesome God and we thank him. We thank him on this wonderful, this beautiful sunshiny morning. Amen. We're going to get out from down here before it get too hot, but we had to come. We had to come and worship the Lord. This we had to come and worship God this morning because of how good he is, how wonderful he is on this particular day. Amen. We're not going to worry your patience long, but there is a word that the Lord has planted in my spirit for such a time as this. Amen. So now I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you if you will, amen, before I do that, little housekeeping rules, I'm sorry, little housekeeping rules before I go into the sermon this morning. I want to let you know, hopefully you got your chastened cup, your communion cup at the gate as you entered in, or that you brought your own, or that you brought your own, which would be juice and crackers, and amen, at the time of Holy Communion, and we'll all partake together. We will all partake together. So we thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for each and every one of you that has examined themselves. The Bible says, let a man examine himself. Let a man examine himself and then let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. So we all should be examining ourselves, amen, as we partake of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. We also have restrooms available, amen. If you need to use the restroom, we're going to ask that you go to my right, to my right, to those side doors on the right, right there. Go up the steps, go up the steps, and as you up uh, up the stairs there, to your left will be the restroom if you have to use the restroom. We thank God for each and every one of you. And then at the end of service, at the end of service, those of you uh, who are cheerful givers, amen, and I want to say this to Emmanuel, you have really, 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 really done what the Lord calls you to do from a cheerful giver standpoint. I thank God for you. I want to let you know I thank God for you. I thank God for you. So to God be the glory. To God be the glory. But uh, go up those steps. Use the restroom if you have to. Amen. And at the end of worship celebration as you leave the premises. Amen. The trustees will be out there and they'll be taking tithes and offerings. They'll be taking tithes and offerings. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Anybody glad that he woke you up this morning? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. To God be the glory. Now next Sunday, Next Sunday, it looks like the forecast will be good. And yet, once again, according to the way the weather looks now, so we'll have drive-in worship at this particular point next Sunday, which is Mother's Day, which is Mother's Day, which is Mother's Day. So Reverend Shirley Browning, our very own Reverend Shirley Browning, will be standing before us on next Sunday. Amen. For Mother's Day. Come on and hope your horns. Give us your some love. Show us some love. Amen. To God be the glory. We acknowledge Reverend Browning being here this morning and also Minister Glenn being here this morning. Amen. See them driving. We thank God. We thank God. To the deacons of this great church, uh, to our mother of the church, I don't know if she's out there or not, but even in her absence, amen, we acknowledge her and Sister Pearlene Rogers, her sidekick, amen. You see one, you see the other. So we thank God for them. We thank God for them. Amen. Go with me this morning, if you will. Go with me this morning, if you will, uh, to uh, the 18th Psalm. The 18th Psalm. Psalm 18, said another way. You can say the 18th Psalm or Psalm 18. Said another way. Amen. Amen. And when you get to Psalm 18, when you get to Psalm 18, I want you to go. verse 17. I want you to go to verse 17 and keep your Bibles open. We're going to walk around a little bit as God has walked around in my spirit. Amen. So Psalm 18 and begin at verse 17. Begin at verse 17. When you have it, just honk your horn. Let me know you're there. 
God be the glory to God be the glory. I'll be reading out of the New King James Version. And my Bible reads like this. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Amen. Is that what your Bible says? God be the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory. Amen. I want to use for a subject this morning. I want to use for a subject this morning as the Lord laid in my spirit. Strength for the battle. Strength for the battle. Amen. Let us pray. Tell God our fathers once again that you've given us the opportunity to bring, teach, and preach thy holy word. Now, Father God, decrease me that you may be increased. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 Strength for the battle. Strength for the battle. It's at times like these that all of us, all of us, every one of us out here need strength. We need strength because the battles of life, they keep coming. No matter how uh, many battles that you have, uh, the issue is, is whether you sustain or not. And one can only sustain in Jesus Christ, our Lord. So the battles will come. Nobody was ever more aware of this than David, King David, Shepherd Boy David, Musician David. No everyone was more aware of that than him. I want to let you know this morning, uh, New Emmanuel, Facebook family and friends, and to all of you that have driven out this morning that we may celebrate God, that God takes pleasure. He takes pleasure in those who serve him. He provides reservations for those who worship him. He protects those who seek and obey him. He delivers us from any power that might try to hinder us, might try to impede our progress, might try to staffle or prohibit us from his presence. Amen. Because the Bible says that we can come boldly before the throne of grace. Amen. And God has a way of working things out. Amen. Even in our battles, he has a way of working things out. And one thing I found out in life is that no one can change my mind about God except me. Can I get a witness out here? No one can change my mind about God except me. The Bible clearly tells us, it says it this way in John chapter 10, verse 27 and 28. It says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Verse 28 says, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Amen. You ought to be glad that can't nobody pluck you out of God's hand. Can I get a witness? And one of the things I found out, when people keep on messing with the children of God, they got to understand one thing. Nobody can pluck you out of his hand. But they got to understand that if they keep on messing with you, that God does have another hand. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. That's enough reason to praise God for right there. Amen. He's good. He's good. No one can plug. No one can snatch us out of Christ's hand. No one can snatch us out of God's hand. And I just believe that we have some worshipers here today that didn't mind driving down upon the premises that know that he's a keeper. Amen. Yeah, yeah, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. He brought me through all kinds of battles in my life. And I don't know about you, but he brought me. Amen. Amen. Put your hand out the window. Wave your hand toward heaven and just say, Lord, thank you for bringing me. Thank you for bringing me. Lord, have mercy. If it had not been for the Lord, 
I don't know where I'd be right now. I know one thing, I wouldn't be here. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 He, he brought me through the battles of my life. He brought me through battles with others. He even brought me through battles with myself. Amen. Amen. Because many of us have had battles with ourselves. Can I get a witness? Oh, I need a witness here. Oh, yeah. 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 So where's Leandra Johnson and Donna Lawrence when you need them? That's when they say, Lord, deliver me. Because all I seem to do is hurt myself. Has anybody out there been in that predicament? Yeah, that all sometimes you seem to do is just hurt yourself. But I want to let you know he will deliver. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. But when my mind now, when my mind lines up on Christ, I find out that I have eternal, external, excuse me, external enemies also. I've got external enemies also. Amen. Not only do I have enemies within myself, but I've got external enemies. Amen. Those who just don't like me. Anybody out here got people that just don't like you? Oh, my God. Somebody laying on it. <laughs> Those that just don't want to see me prosper. You got people that don't want to see you prosper. Good God of mine. Amen. Amen. And then those that seem all they want to do is hate my testimony. Good God. I don't care how they feel about it. I'm going to keep on giving my testimony. Amen. How good God's been. How far he's brought me. Amen. Through these trying times. Have you ever had uh, things chase you simply because God has gifted you? Do I have a witness out there? Yeah. 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 Things chase you simply because God gifted you. And I'm not talking about chasing you because of your attitude. I'm not talking about chasing you because you're hurting folk, but I'm talking about uh, chasing you because you're gifted. My God, some people don't want you to be gifted. And now your enemies are trying to get back at you. Can I get a witness? I'm talking about somebody that you're serving the Lord. You can be going around just minding your own business and serving the Lord. But people sometimes want to come at you from this way and come at you from that way. Can I get a witness? And I need to ask somebody this morning. Have you been there in that place? Is somebody right there right now? You ought to look over at somebody's car park beside you. And just give them a wave and say it happens sometimes. That my enemy would try to take me out. My enemy would try to drag me down. But I know a God that sits high and looks low. And my enemies are my fruit students. That's what he said. Because you see, my brothers and sisters, this is what we see in our lesson this morning. David now has penned this song. He penned it on a day when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all of his enemies. He penned it on a day when the Lord had delivered him from King Saul. David now a man after God's own heart. And as you read the song in its context progressively, you will find out that God will turn the universe upside down and inside out on your behalf. Can I get a witness? God will make some things upset in this world in order to rescue you and me. And God will make some things take a back seat in order to rescue his children. Heels 
10, but from 7 to 15, God turns the world upside down, the universe and inside out. And in verse 15, he says, then the channels of the sea were seen.
he brought me out. Good God Almighty. And that's what he's talking about. In verse 19, notice what he says. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me.
as we stay in his will and stay in his way. Amen. He's able. He's able. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask and that we think. According, this is the next part, according to the power that worketh in us. According to the power that worketh in us. So it's by the power that you have, that he's given you, that you believe that he's able to do all things but fail. Can I get a witness out here? you to take time and read that 18th song. Amen. And so much, so much there. And you'll find out that God will. He'll take the universe, turn it inside out and outside in, just for his children. That's what he did for David. That's what he did for David. He protected David. And some people going to say, whoa, but David was a murderer. David was an adulterer. But don't forget what the Bible says about David also. He was a man after God's own heart. Simply because David went and said, Lord, created me a clean heart and renewed a right spirit in me. That's what David did. Amen. He knew he had messed up. Many of us have messed up. But we keep going that direction. We don't want to straighten up. We're the cat and spirituals when you need them. I got to clean up what I messed up. We've got to learn that we can't stay where we are. If we want strength for the battle, all we have to do is line up with God line up with Jesus Christ. Amen. And let the Holy Spirit direct us. Amen. 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 Maybe there's somebody, maybe there's somebody out here, maybe there's somebody out here that want to give your life to Christ. You've been coming to church, but have you truly given your life to Christ? This is the time that you can do it. This is the time you can do it right now. If you need the Lord as your personal Savior, Wherever you are, y'all, you got to do is honk your horn one time. If you need the Lord as your personal Savior, you have received him as your Savior. You can get saved in this atmosphere right now. Right where we are right now, all you got to do is honk your horn one time. And let me lead you through the sinner's prayer. Amen. If you need restoration, all you got to do is honk your horn one time. And we'll pray with you from right here right where we are. Amen. Amen. Those of you out there at YouTube land and Facebook live land, we're here at New Emmanuel Chapel. We want to give you the opportunity this morning to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. If you've never known him, if you've never submitted to him, now is the time. I don't care where you are. You may be sitting in your bedroom. You may be in your living room. You may be at your kitchen table. You may be driving down the highway. But if you'll repeat these words that I'm about to give you, you can be saved right where you are. Just repeat after me. Just tell us, say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner and that my relationship with you is broken. I thought I was big and bad enough to do everything that I wanted to do on my own. Lord, now I understand that I can't do this by myself. So, Lord, I confess with my mouth that I believe with my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. You told me that if I would believe that with a godly son, that you would save me. And if you prayed that prayer, whoever you are, wherever you are, you prayed that prayer, all you got to do now is say, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I pray that you prayed that prayer this morning. I also pray that you would take, take it a step further. And that's to get in a faith 
faith-based teaching, preaching church. It has a ministry that believes in God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't just stop right there. You may not be able to go to church every Sunday because of your job, but when you can, you ought to be in there. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. Let us pray, new Emmanuel. Let us pray, new Emmanuel. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this time, this opportunity, under your beautiful Son, S-U-N, where we worship the Son, S-O-N, God, because of who you are. We thank you right now, God, for another chance, another opportunity. God, it is well with our souls. Thank you for the strength that you've given us this morning, God, through this pandemic. Thank you for the comfort that you've given us, God, through all of these terrible situations. For God, we say, we know that you said you never leave us, nor forsake us. So now we place everything in your hands, God, everything in your hands. Bless those, Father God, who are on the front line nurses, clinicians. Bless them in a mighty way. Grocery store workers, Father God. Those that are essential workers, Father God. Postal workers, Father God. Those that have to make it to work so that the rest of us will have food on our table, God, because they have to stop the shelves. Bless them in a mighty way and keep them safe, God. All of those, Father God, that are helping others, Father God, help them in a mighty way. Shall pass. This too shall pass. For it is in the precious and 